God says, fear not, little ones. Don't let the enemy cloak you with the spirit of heaviness. For there shall be no weapon formed against my church, saith the Lord, that shall prosper. And though the enemy will say he roars, what you hear is the howling of a wolf and not the roaring of a lion. And I'm going to muzzle this demon spirit, says the Lord. For I have always waited when I do my best work, says God, till it is impossible for it to be done in the natural. Amen. This house, saith the Lord, was not birthed by men. It was not birthed out of a meeting. But it was birthed out of the heart of God, says the Lord. Because I have raised you up to be a sinner that the harvest will come into by my spirit. And I will not leave you an orphan, says God. And every spirit that has declared judgment and has cursed this house, know this, saith the Lord, even as I cause Haman to hang on the gallows that he built to kill Mordecai, so will the enemy be hung on the weapons that he has built to destroy the house of the Lord, not only in this city, but in the nations around the world. For this is a different season, saith God. Even right now, heaven is busy with the activity of setting the table for the very supper of the Lamb. And even as I have said, angels saith God that are setting the table because the time is short that my bride is getting ready to come home and sup with me. I have also have set angels in position. And though it has seemed quiet, it has not been quiet in the spirit realm. There is nothing, saith the Lord, that's going to harm this last move of God. This is going to happen so quick and so powerful uh, that the prophets of old that wrote about it says the Lord yet they did not understand what they were pinning on paper but this hour saith God is the culmination of prophecies that have been released even thousands of years ago uh, because this is the final gathering of my people into the house into the kingdom of the Lord uh, did I not say that I would take the wealth of the wicked saith God uh, I would take their position I would take their possessions I would take their places and I would turn them back over to the kingdom of the most high for I am not going to be shut off in the back room I will not be put in the back places I will not just have the dregs at the bottom of the cup but I am God Almighty I will have the best of the best of the best saith the Lord and I will not have my people shrouded this move of the Lord will not be hid under a bushel. The candle will not be put out, but this is a flame of fire that was started on the day of Pentecost. And now that was on 120, say the Lord will be on the whole earth. I am going to set the earth the fire with a Pentecostal fire of the Holy Ghost and power. It's going to come so quick, saith the Lord. You're going to stand astounded. You cannot be moved, says the Lord. I am telling says God rest 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 in me for if you will rest I will work but if you work I will rest you need me to work saith the Lord for it is not by might and it's not by power but it's by my spirit saith God I'm going to shake the nations if I have never shook them even as Mount St. Helens blew its top off and changed the course of rivers there's another explosion saith God that's going to begin to hit the mountains of the United States of America. I'm going to shake her. I'm going to cause where the enemy tried to make the heart of the church fail and be filled with fear. Now I'm going to fulfill my word where it says in the last days men's hearts shall fail them for fear because of what they're going to see. I'm going to do things that will astound the unbeliever. They will tremble at the sound of the voice of the house of God. Do you really think that I am moved by the lukewarm and the carnal and the ungodly and the atheists? There is no man that can stand up and look at me in the eye and say you're not going to do this. I put breath in them and I can take breath out of them says God. For this is the final hour. It is the final gathering saith the Lord. This hour right now in this house I loose upon you a release of the virtue 
you of the power of God. Every demon spirit that charges you, every spirit of fear that comes against you, every spirit that unbelief that has assaulted you, put it under your feet, saith the Lord, because you are children of the Most High. You got me in you, saith the Lord. Did I not say that out of your belly shall flow rivers of Magnify me to the nations. Magnify me to 